The Chinese army officially adopted the ZTQ-15 light tank in 2017, often referred to as the Type 15 tank. Initial glimpses of this tank surfaced in 2010, although the development was shrouded in secrecy, with no official comments for quite some time. Multiple prototypes were observed since 2010, featuring a completely fresh design. The Type 15 tank could potentially serve as a successor to the retired Type 62 light tank, which lacked a proper replacement after its retirement in 2011. The Chinese military's demand might be for around 300 new light tanks. The first unit to receive the ZTQ-15 was the 123rd Combined Arms Brigade, a prominent division within the PLA's Southern Theater Command. Notably, this brigade is considered part of a strategic plan concerning Taiwan's control. Some reports indicate that approximately 250 ZTQ-15 light tanks were manufactured by 2021, with deployment in the Chinese Army and Marines. The VT-5, an export variant of this tank, was unveiled in 2016, aiming to attract various international buyers. Weighing between 33 and 36 tons based on its armor configuration, the ZTQ-15 emphasizes mobility and swift repositioning. It's primarily designed for reconnaissance and infantry support missions. Its adaptable nature enables deployment in challenging terrains like mountains, jungles, and river areas, inaccessible to heavier Chinese main battle tanks such as the Type 96 and Type 99. Featuring a welded hull and turret, the tank can equip modular add-on armor, including passive composite armor or explosive reactive armor. Some sections can even be shielded with cage armor for defense against anti-tank rockets and guided missiles. The tank incorporates a passive protection system with a laser detector, triggering smoke grenade launchers upon laser illumination, diminishing the risk of laser-guided anti-tank missile strikes. Armed with a stabilized 105mm rifled gun compatible with NATO standard ammunition, the tank employs an automatic loading system, reducing the crew to three members. This downsized crew allows for a smaller tank profile, thus decreasing vulnerability on the battlefield. The tank's effective firing range is approximately 3 km, with its APFSDS round capable of penetrating up to 500mm of rolled homogeneous armor. In addition, the tank can launch 105mm anti-tank guided missiles, extending its range to 5 km with over 90% hit probability against stationary targets. These missiles pose a significant threat to main battle tanks and even low-flying helicopters. The tank's weaponry includes high explosive, heat, and heat rounds for various targets. The tank carries a total of 38 rounds and missiles for its main gun, automatically ejecting spent cases from a rear turret hatch. Its secondary armament encompasses a remotely controlled weapon station hosting a 12. 7mm machine gun and a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, alongside a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Equipped with a modern fire control system, the tank integrates a laser rangefinder, ballistic computer, wind sensor, gunner's thermal sight and commander's panoramic sight with thermal vision. This setup enables nighttime and adverse weather engagements. The tank also boasts a hunter-killer engagement capability, allowing the commander to identify targets, automatically align the gun, and delegate aiming and firing tasks to the gunner. The ZTQ-15 incorporates navigation, satellite communication, and battlefield management systems. Its crew comprises three members, a commander, gunner, and driver. The driver is centrally positioned in the hull, although an offset position was observed in at least one prototype. The commander and gunner reside in the turret. Powered by a 1000 horsepower turbocharged diesel engine located at the rear, the tank features a fully automatic transmission and hydropneumatic suspension with adjustable ground clearance. The tank's mobility excels due to its lightweight build, allowing operation at high altitudes. It possesses a maximum range of 450 km on fuel, extendable with external fuel tanks. The tank's air transportability enables airlifting and para dropping, aligning with China's emphasis on rapid deployment and offensive capabilities. 
However, it lacks amphibious capabilities, setting it apart from China's marine-operated ZBD-2000 amphibious light tank, which was crafted for high-speed aquatic maneuvers and is also armed with a 105mm gun. The export version of the ZTQ-15, known as VT-5, diverges in certain aspects. Bangladesh became the first customer in 2020, ordering 44 tanks. The VT-5 platform supports variants like an armored recovery vehicle based on the ZTQ-15 chassis, featuring a crane, dozer blade, and recovery winch. Additionally, a 155mm self-propelled howitzer prototype emerged in 2020, using the ZTQ-15 tank chassis as its base.